So this week at work, I was having a really interesting engagement with a business owner. Not this one here, but incidentally, let me introduce you. I'm being rude. It's Mike Milligan of Comedian fame. He passed away in around 2006 or so. But for 50 years, he created alternative comedy, um, heckling a lot of people, creating a lot of laughter, and generating a fair amount of controversy. He's immortalized in this bronze statue. And I was having the discussion with him because it's no laughing matter. And the issue was around a business owner who has been in his business for 56 years. And over the last four months, we've had a number of engagements around the fact that he is, this year, turning 80 years of age. And perhaps the time has now come for him to do things differently. He's been struggling with this idea, asking, well, why should he? He works seven days a week. He doesn't fuss or complain about it. In fact, he quite enjoys it. He claims it gives him purpose and meaning in his everyday life. He loves what he does too. So the conversation developed, and it developed to a point where I said, what do you do differently today that perhaps you did five years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago? There was very little that he did differently. The business itself is edging on $50 million of annual revenue, and it is in the steel industry, tough industry to be in. And it got me thinking about, well, what do you do differently? Because surely over a period of time, as a CEO, as a founder of the business, if you have a growth mindset, what you did last year, the year before, the decade before, should be different to what you do now in order to get your business to its next level. He sits in the unenviable position where with his $50 million of revenue, the valuation that sits behind the business, and sadly, the ability for the business to be successfully acquired and therefore sold, which would in effect monetize his 56 years of investment, care and love, is unlikely. It's why we are speaking. As a business owner, there are six different jobs as the CEO that you should undertake, more or less about five years apart, that see you from start all the way through to exit and into the second career where all the experience and value you have earned and burned and learned can be brought into a paying forward environment. All of it presupposes that you've built a business that can be successfully sold. Think about it, look at what you do, and just be sure it's different to what you've done before.